Since I was a young man, I've held a special place in my heart for arcade-style games. But the hardest part about home console games is finding a good arcade stick to play those games with. Well, thanks to 8BitDo, we have the NES 30 Pro Arcade Stick. Let's find out how well it works today in this video. I don't usually like doing unboxings of new products on my channel, but the NES 30 arcade stick is a little bit different. Inside this box, you get the cable, USB on both sides for charging it and connecting it to computers, and you get the device itself. The box itself not only has a nice design, but it's pretty story and is handy for storing the arcade stick when not in use. On the face of the NES 30 arcade stick, we have a joystick, A, B, RT, R2, and LT, L2, and right above that is an X, Y, RB, R1, and LB, and L1. And the very top row of buttons are two switches, an X input to D input, and an XY to D pad switch, a turbo button, the pair button, which will be important when you're trying to pair the NES 30 arcade stick with a device, and of course a select, and a big old start button. The joystick and the buttons have a nice glossy sheen to them, but you can kind of see they do attract fingerprints pretty effectively. That's probably my one big criticism is how much of a fingerprint magnet the buttons and joystick are. Not only is the NES 30 arcade stick compatible with Android, Windows, and Mac OS, but it also works with the Nintendo Switch. You can play just about any game with the 8-bit do arcade stick. Here I am. You can see I'm even trying to play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, not effectively, because you can't access the menus and change weapons on the fly. The only problem is, because it's got one stick, you can't play games that would require dual sticks, like shooters, Splatoon, games of that nature, but you really wouldn't want to play those games in the first place. I personally like to play Pac-Man with this game. Pac-Man is probably one of my favorite games, and the reason I am into arcade games today. And I'm not very uh, good at it, but I really enjoy playing it. Galaga's another really fun one. If you download the Namco game on the Switch, there's an option to rotate the screen 90 degrees so you can make the screen horizontal and play these games the way they were meant to be played on an up and down screen. Once you actually figure out how to pair the NES 30 arcade stick with a device, it's pretty easy. You simply hold down on the start and Y button until the blue button comes on and it'll start to flash four times in succession before going dark and then flashing four times again. Once that happens, hold down the pair button for two seconds and it'll start to blink continuously. On the main menu, click controller. Once you're into the controller menu, click change grip order and then wait. It'll take about 15 seconds, but eventually it will pair. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Once you figure out how to pair it to the Nintendo Switch, it's a fairly easy process. But it took me about a half hour to figure it out. It's really just user error, i.e. my fault. If you are having trouble pairing the two devices, do a power cycle on the Nintendo Switch, turn it off, don't put it in sleep mode, turn it off, either restart or power off and turn it back on, and then you should be able to connect it. But once you've got it paired to a device, it'll connect again automatically once you turn it back on. That's why I really recommend using the NES 30 arcade stick with one device, because it can be kind of a pain in the butt. That being said, it's not impossible to use this on every major computing system there is out there. And in case you were curious, it does work with the Raspberry Pi. I bought this nice little case for my Raspberry Pi when I couldn't find an NES Classic. Speaking of the NES Classic, while the NES 30 arcade stick does not work with the NES and SNES Classic out of the box, 8BitDo does sell a dongle that you can purchase, making it backwards compatible with these two systems. 
You can also purchase an 8-bit do USB Bluetooth dongle that has a nice brick pattern on it like from Mario Brothers. Or you can purchase a Bluetooth dongle that plugs right into the original ports of the NES and SNES to use any of 8-BitDo's Bluetooth controllers or any Bluetooth controller that you may have. The NES 30 arcade stick is going to be a better fit for your average consumer, not necessarily your hardcore of hardcore fighting game enthusiasts. But if you're just looking for an arcade stick to relive some of the old arcade days, then the NES 30 arcade stick definitely has your back. If you are interested in picking up the NES 30 arcade stick, there's a link in the description below that'll take you to the Amazon page. Anyway, go ahead and give me a like if you like this video. Give me a dislike if you dislike this video in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite third-party controller is, whether that be an arcade stick or whether it's a regular USB um, controller or a Bluetooth controller. Whatever it is, let me know what it is in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like content like this. Also, if you have an idea for something else you want me to review, let me know uh, in the comments below. But anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. And um, hey, catchphrase goes here. See you next time.